Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of T-Shirt Design Tutorial. So in this one, in today's video, I am going to show you how to draw from images. So like the style I am showing in my channel, in my shorts. So I am going to draw this image in vector format and this is completely okay. You can work like this and there will be no copyright because this is an image. This is an image format. We are going to draw it in vector style which will be a different style and different format so that is fine so i take this image and i'm going to simply select it and then reduce the opacity kind of like this where i can see the details going on here and i'm going to lock this one or we can do another thing which is okay so we can simply just lock this layer okay let's unlock it first i'm going to lock this layer this entire layer and then i'm going to create a new layer on top of it so in this way i will be able to easily turn this off and see what is going on and my drawing will be in this layer too so this is fine to start a design like this we need to we can use many tools like pen tool, pencil tool, curvature tool, anything, brush tool. But for this kind of specific style of designs, I am going to use my pencil tool here. So, which is this one, you can just press N for your pencil tool. I am going to take black color as my color here and then I am going to just draw shapes like this. So, as you can see, I am not simply drawing a single line that will make this area filled which is not what i want i am going to draw lines and then i am going to come back to where i started from just like this so this is fine for areas like this we can simply this is a very small area we don't need to worry about areas like this but just to give it the outline so as you can see from here we will draw whatever we can see so in this area this is already in dark shade like there are so many shadows here so we can simply draw those shadows so this is starting from here i will just go like this and this all area is inside the shadow shape so we can simply draw some random lines like this so this will be inside the shadow also for this area this is the shadow part And then again, I am going to go back to the area where I started from. So here we can see some texture in the cloth. We can draw that too. This is not important because we will not keep any kind of branding details. Otherwise, it can be copyrighted. So that's not what I want. Okay, so for this area, I am going to simply draw this one here. okay just like this and here you can see some shadow parts we can draw those it will look kind of like this so this is the outline of this image i'm going to draw that part and there are some small details like as you can see here if you want you can draw those but that is not really important so i will leave it for now something like this to represent the hand shape So whenever I am drawing a line like this, I cannot go very thin, that will be invisible. 
like if i am going back i cannot do it very thin like this it will not look good so that is good that is fine for me now i am going to simply draw the outline of this hand just like this then when i'm going back i can simply bring some details with it if you want otherwise we can do that separately so once my drawing is done my outline is done then i can add this shadow lines like this that is also cool okay so that's a mistake just like this here is a fold in the cloth i can draw that one okay so this part is looking good so for the facial details like design like this we can simply just draw the outline of the head we will add any kind of details later just the outline or whatever we can see so this is the hair part here also i need to take this outline in my drawing which is good again as i said we need to take all the outline details so just like this so as you can see this area becomes thin here also so i will change it just like that for this area here i will just take this wrinkles in my this part of the drawing i will keep this here then i will so from here we can simply draw the main outline of this graphic just like this so here is the eyebrow we can just take it inside this shape of here so that is fine this area i cannot see really so this is some obvious areas so let's just draw something for that area we will fix that later so this is how it is looking if i try to turn off the image layer you can see this is how it is looking and it's looking good okay so here we need to add some shadings like these details here just like this so i will keep a gap in this area because that was the gap between the shirt and neck which is good okay let's try to finish this guy first then we will go for the other one so here is the fold of his cloth something like this in this time i am going to just draw the outline of the hand first i will capture all the details later something like that okay so as you can see this area is looking like this
okay so this is the outline of that shape now for this part i am going to add those details here so it is too much curvy here something like this so we'll just capture whatever we can you can see i'm going to make this shadows from one direction only but we can make this from the opposite direction too if you want which is also cool something like that okay so this much is fine we can add more but that's not necessary so for this one here i will just add this hand right now make sure your lines are bold enough like that it should be kind of like this but that's fine this is okay so this is a very small details but that one is gone let's draw it one more time something like that I will join this part here so that I don't leave that gap. This is the gap of this of his finger, something like that. Okay, that is good. That's not a problem here. So for this area, I'm going to just draw this part. something like that let's draw his hair from here maybe i can add this details too i will keep his finger here so that is fine again just the outline and then i can simply add some of these shadows here just to make it look realistic let's draw this part like that which is fine something like that that is cool just some details to this hand here okay that is fine not like that
okay i think that is good let's finish this part So let's keep it all inside the shadow area. So here everything is a bit darker under shadow so I will just keep it kind of black that is good. Like that. So something like this, if I turn off the image layer, you can see this is how it is going to be and that is fine. So those were the complex parts, now this will be easy. I am skipping some of these details, that is not important. So. Just like that. So in this area I need to fix it. Just like that, something like that will work. Okay, so that is good let's finish this part okay so here is some area is missing of this image but that's fine, I can simply just make it something like that. I 
and I think that will work for me okay need to draw this part just like this so here is a plug belt i am not a this kind of a sports fan but maybe that means something so let's draw that which will help us to understand some curves so here is the curve here and this is going to overlap each other okay so that's not just like that so i'm going to end it here like that something like that this is going to work for here we can do some text text effect there but that is not important so this one should be like this curve should match each other something like that so that is good this is also in a shadow area so you can add some black shapes there let's add some details from here which is good i can keep this area and to keep that i need just need to fill that because i don't want to keep any kind of branding details visible there okay so that's a mistake so let's try it from this side just like this so i should have drawn this line from this side but that's fine this is just a small details okay so this is not looking good let's try one more time so here this is the outer side of this image here like the feet so first step is we are going to draw the outer line and once this outer line is done I am going to add this details like so let's try one by one something like that then again I am going to draw this inner shape again okay so that's a mistake sometimes we need to just go back to where we started like this that is good there are some details in the nails here we can keep that or just we can simply ignore that and move on so kind of like this anyway 
so that is how it is going to be let's draw this part here okay guys so i am not using my ipad right now this is my pen display x pen artist pro so there is a tons of area to play with as you can see i can draw these longer shapes from one corner to another corner of this display so this is kind of cool so these are some shadow shapes so these shadows are not here so i am imagining them and drawing them because i don't want to keep a big area white there so as you can see in this area i need to draw these shades kind of like this so that will fill this area okay so here i need to okay not like that just like this that is good okay guys so this is how it is going to be as you can see if i turn off this layer so this is my drawing this is how you can draw images like this and if there is any area which is very blank like this feet area or this hand area we can just randomly draw some shades there just to match it with the rest of the graphic just like this so this one is not looking very good here just like this so so for the mouth area i am not going to add too many details to it because that will make it make it rec recognizable this isn't from an image so i don't want to make it exactly look like the image so this is how you can make drawings like this which is really cool so if you have any questions or didn't understand any part of it let me know in the comment section i will try to explain and this is the best i can do guys i cannot make it like i cannot make it a two hour tutorial explaining everything so this is the best i can do i hope it will help you learn this process so thank you very much have a great time